If you've got one of these or something similar with a microphone input, but no line input, you'll know that when you try and put line input into it, it makes a really awful noise. It sounds a bit like this. And why is that? Well, why? It's simple. Mic input is normally between 0.001 and 0.01 volts. Line level is 1 volt. That's a bit too big, don't we? What you need is an attenuator. This makes the signal smaller. You can make a fixed one or a variable one, which is more useful. Or you can buy one if you really want to. But they're not easy to find nowadays. To make a fixed one, you need something like this. A 3.5mm mono lead and two resistors and some, pet, some cutters, the ability to join it together. If you want to do a variable one, and why wouldn't you, because they're cheaper and they're better, then all you need are these bits. That is the same mono lead, a variable resistor, 47K, and some self-amalgamating tape. And this is what we do with it. We put it together like this. The signal comes in, goes through there, goes out there, which means you get a hundredth of the signal. The variable one looks the same electrically, and this is what it looks like when you put it together. The beauty of it is, though, you can alter the input levels and the output levels and balance the two to get the best results. So having gone to the bottom of making this, what can you expect? Well, these traces were taken using exactly that circuit diagram, using exactly that method, and as you can see, they're beautifully flat. So that's what you can get. Absolutely superb results. Catch you another time. If you've got anything from this, please like, subscribe, and see you again. Bye-bye.